Hey guys, this is Ricardo back here on the Watch With Us channel. And in for review, we have the Rado Captain Cook High Tech Ceramic. Now, the Captain Cook line in general is a reissue of an older model that Rado used to create back in the 70s. And they reissued, did their first reissue in 2017. And since then, they've evolved the design and made made subtle and sometimes big changes to the watches um, in a way of answering what the watch community has been asking for. But if we jump into this watch and jump into the specs, uh, this watch comes in at 43 millimeters from 45 to 15. You get a lug to lug from here to here of 49 millimeters. Thickness on the watch comes in at 14.6 millimeters. If we go here to the strap, which is a full rubber strap, not silicone, so you get the added benefit of not having lint on this strap. Lug width is 21 millimeters, which tapers down to about 20 millimeters here at the clasp, which is a deployment clasp and has a mixture of stainless steel, as you see listed here, and ceramic. Now, if we go to the case back of the watch, case back of the watch tells you that this is a high-tech high ceramic case, serial number, Rado, and the fact that the watch is Swiss made. You also get the sapphire crystal case back here, which displays the R734 movement within the watch. Now, that sapphire crystal is a smoked gray, and make note of that because if you go back here to the front of the watch, you'll see something else that Rado has done, which they've given us a translucent smoked gray dial. Underneath that dial, you see a little bit of perlage on that R734 movement, which is based on the Powermatic 80 movement. Interesting thing here is that that movement is here as a no date version. So, that's another first actually between the rubber strap and the translucent dial. Another first here is also the fact that they're using a no date movement in the Captain Cook collection. Now, in terms of the case, if we go back to the case, big key thing here is that the case is ceramic, high tech ceramic. It comes in this matte black ceramic which does some nice contrasting work with this polished ceramic bezel that you get here. And this stainless steel polished trim and stainless steel crown, which is signed with the anchor for Rado. Going back here to the dial, Rado was also able to get, still get you that spinning rotor here at 12, which <laughs> is always easy. Not as easy to show off, but there you saw a little movement with it. Watch comes with 300 meters of water resistance. That R734 movement inside, as I stated earlier, and if I didn't, comes with 80 hours of power reserve, which is nice to have, but you also get a Nevercrone hairspring, which also gives you some benefit in terms of anti-magnetism. Cool feature here is this doesn't have a power reserve indicator, but if you focus here right to the right of the thousand feet on the dial, you can see the mainspring here and a clear sign that your mainspring and your power reserve is kind of getting low is you'll see the mainspring actually start to extend out to the edges of that semicircle that you see here. So all you have to do, which I'm going to do now is just unscrew the crown first position. And as you start to wind the watch, you'll start to see that mainspring get tighter and tighter and increase your power reserve. Now, as I stated earlier, this is a true no date movement. So when you pop this out to the next position, position two, you get a stop and a hack on the second hand and you can start setting your time on the watch. We're gonna pop that back in. Watch starts up again. I wanted to show you guys also some loom and what the loom like, looks like on this watch. 
going to power that up real quick. And in terms of loom, you get all the indices as well as that 60 minute marker on the polished bezel. Loom is real nice and bright and glows in that kind of bluish green color. Now I wanted to pop this on the wrist so you guys can see how this looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Real comfortable to wear. If you see here looking down on the wrist that that height is not that bad at 14.6 millimeters for a nice true tool watch. You also can see here on the lug to lug, there's lug to lug, there's no overhang on the lugs because they are nicely curved compared to the case. But I must say this looks actually pretty nice on my seven and a half inch wrist. If I pop this off the wrists, Another added benefit I wanted to mention is the fact that since this is a ceramic case, it is tough as nails when it comes to scratching and it's scratch resistance. Also, you get a little bit of savings in terms of weight on the watch compared to its bronze and its stainless steel counterpart. I will drop a link up here just in case you're rendering to both our review of the bronze version of the Captain Cook as well as the stainless steel version. But now that we've kind of gone through the specs, I want to just give you guys my thoughts on the watch. Uh, first, I have to say that this is truly a masterclass in terms of contrast, um, in terms of the design of this watch. The, between the polished bezel, that polished trim stainless steel and the stainless steel crown here and the matte black case, Perfect and easy to read. Even with the translucent dial, everything here is easy to read. It's a true tool watch. It's nice, it's simple, but it, it, it's still a very beautiful watch. And that perlage on the movement is subtle because most of the time you're looking at the movement, that kind of smoked gray dial doesn't really let you know what's going on. And then bam, you get some light and there you see that nice perlage on the movement. Another thing here is I appreciate that Rado gave us a true no date movement on this watch, so there's no ghost positions, as well as the fact that Rado gave us, for the first time in the Captain Cook line, a rubber strap. Always appreciate it when a brand gives us a nice, not only a nice rubber strap, but a nice fitted rubber strap. And it's not that cheap silicone, which adds all that lint over wear. I've had this watch for about two weeks, and as you can see, it's still clean, no lint collecting on it, real nice. You see that rotter there, everything is still clean. It gets a little wet with some of my sweat, but you know what? It's still a good bet. <laughs> but um, truly, the watch is a really nice watch. Now, in terms of negatives, really, there are none. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. This is one of the best tool watch dive watches I've ever seen from the brand. There's really no negatives on this watch. Everything here works in perfect harmony. The case size, which is 43, wears well because the lugs don't overshoot over to 50. That contrast is perfect. Um, the use of the high-tech ceramic, you know, Rado, they're, they're that master of materials. It's nice to see them bring that to the Captain Cook line. Um, this now, this new also to the Captain Cook line, no date movement, which is going to be interesting to see. Hopefully they bring it to some of their other watches. Um, overall, the watch is just a really good watch. Now, in terms of the price of admission for this watch, um, I'm going to compare it to some of the other Captain Cooks. In terms of your stainless steel version, that comes in at about $2,400. If you want to go up to bronze, that brings you up to $2,600. But to get the high-tech ceramic on this rubber strap, you're talking $3,300 USD. If you want to also get the ceramic bracelet that comes with it, it bumps the price up to $3,600. So you're talking about a difference of about $1,000 from the stainless steel, um, actually from the bronze version, which has no bracelet. So... 
a lot of that just has to go with the use of the high-tech ceramic, which unlike other things which may seem a little gimmicky um, when they're done to a watch, this actually adds a lot of benefit in terms of a nice tool diver. So overall, I have to say, even at the $3,600, this is a really good bet. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna give this my full, complete stamp of approval. Um, I really love this watch. It's gonna be really hard to send this back to Rado after this review. Um, I have it for about another day or two, uh, but man, this is a really nice watch. If you get an opportunity to check one out, definitely check one out. If you guys have any other questions in regards to the Rado high-tech ceramic, drop them in the comment section below, or hit me up on the Watch With Us Instagram page. Um, we drop a couple pictures of the watches we review on that page. So definitely, definitely ask any questions there. But that completes it for the review, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in again next week with another, with our next review. See you guys then. Mm -hmm.